Time to head to the principal's office, down the hallway to the Red Door of Doom. Pretty sure this thing hasn't been inspected in the last 40 years. So, when you're not alarming people, what do you like to do in your spare time? There, I pulled it. Nothing happened. That can't be up to code. The ancient Mayans used to draw these S's, because they're so easy to draw. Stay. Good sticker. There, I touched it. My life is no better or worse having done so. Eh, the movies were better. Why do I always talk to inanimate objects? And why am I asking you? Taking that will offer no new information or sensation to me whatsoever. That's where I keep all my stuff, and where people often stuff me. After graduation, I'll miss having my head slammed into you, old buddy. Damn it! It's jammed shut from all the times I was smashed into it by bullies. I could pop it open if I had a pencil. sticker god damn that's cool hey damn it's stuck on there with permanent glue should I be worried that half of the so-called fire exits in this school were welded shut years ago what if I don't want to exit during a fire did you ever consider that you selfish prick sign Huh, it's made of highly flammable paper. If the school caught on fire, this would be one of the first things to go. How helpful. This one is called Fifty Shades of Hay, the story of Catherine the Great's love affair with a horse. Two things, one, it's not an audiobook, and two, audiobooks talk to you, not the other way around. If I pick up that book, I won't be able to put it down because it's sticky. The Necronomicon? Uh, why is the Book of the Dead in my high school? No way! I'm not gonna say, Klaatu, Barada, Nikto. It'll unleash the army of the dead. Ah, oh, crap. I miss it when books were made with human skin. I heard that book really sucks you in. Might have to check it out sometime. I hope I'm not being too forward when I say you're a very attractive book. Nice binding. Very good book. Fit for a king. I need to go to the principal's office first. I need to go to the principal's office. It's a vent! The vent isn't worth talking to. It's filled with nothing but hot air. Oh, sure, I'll just jump up there and touch it. Come on, dude, get real. A delicious wedge of the door variety. I like you. I'll call you Wedgie. I'll leave the wedgies to the professionals. I need to go to the principal's office. Looks wet to me. What was it like when your grandfather segregated people? I'm not drinking that. Walter puts his mouth on the nozzle. I 
need to go to the principal's up. I need to go to the principal. Some pyramid. There aren't even any mummies in it. Just yummies. Oh no, I'm not falling into that pyramid scheme. Uh, I don't know the poster well enough to grope it. It's there for me to look at, and I'm looking. You are beautiful. It's fuzzy. Girls get all the cool stickers. This recycling bin is completely empty. I can totally relate. You think you're so fancy trying to make the world a better place? You're just a glorified trash can. Somebody couldn't even be bothered to put that crumpled piece of paper in the recycling bin. Guess what? Neither can I. That's the school's basement. Homeless people sleep there at night. Hello? Any homeless people down there? Why do you mock my height? I need to go to the principal. I have all my money bet on the sea slugs, because they take steroids. Sometimes when I'm lonely, I'll talk to signs, like right now. As much as I'd love to add this to my collection of stolen event signs, I think I'll leave it here for now. I need to go to the principal's office. Damn vandals and their romantic gestures. Spray it, don't say it. I'd love to be able to reach that, but alas. Wow, this is the most offensive vending machine I've ever seen. I can't believe they'd put this in a public school. You should be ashamed of yourself, vending machine. Have some self-control for goodness sake. The stuff in this vending machine is far too risque for my PG-13 hands. Once a student got stuck in there and died during the Christmas play of Die Hard. Hi there! I'm short and you're a jerk for constantly reminding me. Do any of the clocks work in this town? I think it's time to stop talking to clocks. I get it, I'm short. Looks like this part of the hallway was once a used car lot. You streamers sure know how to make an otherwise downtrodden school feel festive. Keep it up. I can't reach it, but if I eat all my vegetables, I might be able to someday. That's the janitor's closet. Few go in and few come out. Hey, janitor, if you're in there, everything is going to be okay. I mean, not your marriage, but everything else will be okay. Damn, the door's locked. I've always wondered what creepy stuff the janitor keeps in there. It's a poster for the debate club. No thanks, I can't even win an argument with grandma. You really think arguing with a poster is a good idea? It feels like a poster, but that's debatable. It's a speaker to tell us about lunch, the weather, incoming active shooters, you know, the usual. It talks to me, not the other way around. Oh, sure, I'll just jump up there and touch it. Come on, dude, get real. It's an exit sign. Looks like the educational system hasn't completely failed me after all. I know a girl with an exit-only tattoo on her butt. I don't get it. Maybe if I get on my tippy toes. Nah. I need to go to the principal's office. Fancy velvet ropes. These keep fancy people in a fancy line. Fancy that. Hi there. Velvet ropes? These are way too fancy for me to interact with. 
It's a plastic zip baggie. If you really need more detail than that, I can't help you. Are you trying to escape from the trash can, little baggie? I'll save you. Grabbing a plastic bag from the trash. I feel like I just saw a glimpse into my future. Look at all that trash. Oscar, are you in there? Bundle trash on your own time. It says principal, designated layer of the fabled principal. 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 Tricky word. Dare I steal the principal sign? No, I don't dare. Unlimited power! You were pretty scary in Scream. I gently caress the outlet. It purrs back at me. The fine print on the copier reads, press genitals against glass at your own risk. Hello. I don't have anything I need to print or copy right now. It's a photo of the grand opening of Netherton High School. On the other side of the camera, you can see a whole group of crying children. If I destroy this photo, will the school disappear? I want nothing to do with this evil photo. This bench is like the death row for busted students. I'm sorry you're just covered in butt germs, Bench. Tough life. But hey, at least you're not a toilet, right? I try not to put my hands where butts go. A water cooler? What? Teachers get free water? Lucky. Shouldn't I be gossiping with someone by this water cooler? Not to the water cooler? Now's not the time for hydration. This is either a coffee pot or a spittoon. I've seen it used as both. Forget coffee. All I need to stay awake is a good attitude. Grandma says that coffee will stunt my growth, and I really can't afford to stay this short for the rest of my life. Those cabinets could be filled with anything. Like coffee supplies. What wonders do you behold, drink cabinets? Scratch that. I don't care. I wouldn't want to spoil the mystery of what's inside the cabinets by opening them. Wow, that plant really seems to be thriving in this school. Too bad they can't say the same for the students. Listen here, large plant. I got the back of every small plant in this office. So stick to picking on plants your own size and we'll get along just fine. I'll wait till it's a fully grown beanstalk before I climb it. This painting displays an impeccable blend of patriotism and creativity. Hats off to the artist. Now that's art. I should know. I'm just some kid. I know this painting looks 3D, but it's actually a flat image. I prefer my coffee Vente. You're an excellent vent, Vent. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'm too short. Thanks for the reminder. What a delightfully mediocre painting of a boring old house. You're not worth a thousand words. There, I touched it. My life is no better or worse having done so. Oh look, an award. It says, in honor of those who take leadership and make it a dictatorship. I award you for rewarding our school's prison ward. I'm pretty sure the principal would notice if I took his award. They're pens with adorable little flowers on the erasers and I uh, totally don't want one. Psst, you're neat flower pens. I hope nobody steals you, unless that nobody is me. I shouldn't steal these incredibly awesome pens that I totally don't want. 
What kind of drawings are these? It's just a bunch of two-dimensional colors and shapes. This isn't art. Who in their right mind would even enjoy looking at simple two-dimensional shapes and colors? <laughs> Talking to you drawings has really shaped my adolescence. If I took credit for this, I'd be freebooting. And I'm not a fan of freebooting. It's an average house plant that's easy to neglect. You're a prick, cactus. Got him. What am I, some sort of masochist? This receptionist sign lets you know she's a receptionist and not just some ancient student. Talking to inanimate objects doesn't say anything about the state of my mental health. Right, receptionist sign? But if I take the receptionist sign, people will think I'm a receptionist. I haven't made that kind of career choice yet. A computer with no mesmerizing screensavers? Lame. Siri, activate pornography. And it has a virus. Whoops. It's some sort of ancient cell phone. They must have had huge pockets in the 90s. Siri, tell me a joke. Silence, huh? I don't get this old-timey humor. I don't have any friends to call right now. They're all at school, and they're all Sawyer. Not just a box, but a box full of paper. I've spent too much time and energy focusing on you, paper box. On to bigger and better things. I don't need a box. I don't need paper. And I certainly don't need a box full of paper. A couple unassuming cabinets not worth commenting about like I currently am. Here I am, talking to cabinets, out loud. Let's pretend that I respect the privacy of the receptionist's cabinets. That's the receptionist that runs the school's front desk. She obviously got tired of her job years ago. I'm here for my four o'clock. Is that you, Principal McNally? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm a student. Oh, all right. You're not very receptive, are you, receptionist? You'll have to speak up, dear. I'm wearing my backup glasses. Those are some thick glasses you got there. Can you even see out of those things? Of course I can, orangish, unpopular, ugly blob shape. Normally that would hurt my feelings, but I think I ran out of them when I got pantsed in front of the cheerleading squad. Oh, I heard about that. Funny stuff. She's clearly not going to be any help here, so I'll just go to the principal's office. Uh, no thanks. I don't want to grab that old lady. She's not my type. I can see the light. I'm coming, Mom and Dad. Lighten up, will ya? Ha! Got him. Uh... Can't reach it, dipshit. This whiteboard used to be a blackboard. Not that that's a comment on society or anything. Squeak a squeak, squeak a squeak, squeak. Don't mind me, I'm just speaking its language. And now I have marker ink on my hands. Come in, Coop. Have a seat. We both know why you're here. Wait, why are you here? I'm in trouble. You're darn right you're in trouble. I heard you were cheating on a test while sexually pressuring other students, including our beloved Kent. That's not true. Kent set me up. Oh, sure. I've heard it all before. Hmm, let's see. Oh, there's so many things wrong with you. Where to begin? It's lecture time, Coop. Do you want to hear the long version or the short version? Uh, the long version, I guess? Tell me, Coop, what are your goals? How do you plan to score them? What would make you win the big game called life? Uh, I guess I've always wanted to help people. Help people with their troubles and problems. You know, kind of like a superhero. Like Psionic Steve. And how's that working out for you? Uh, well, most people I try to help really wish I didn't. Doesn't sound like any superhero I've heard of. 
What kind of hero cheats on tests? What kind of champion gets his head shoved into a urinal every day? And no prom date? Pathetic! Even I have a prom date, and I'm not even allowed to. You know, anyone who's anyone has a prom date. People keep saying that. Keep it up and it's no hashtag epic field trip to the local bomb shelter for Coop, and no prom. You'll be warming the bench, hitting the showers. Three strikes means you struck out. Game over, Coop. Game over. You'll leave high school forever remembered as the guy who didn't score a touchdown, the weirdo who didn't have a prom date, the freak that didn't help anyone. Is that the kind of superhero you want to be? A super freak? No, sir. It's just hard to focus on my goals, or scoring goals, when I'm tormented by bullies every day. It's hard to focus when my teacher shoots spit wads into my mouth whenever I yawn, or when Kent posts my internet search history on billboards all over town. Life is going to test you, Coop. You have to keep your eye on the ball. We're all balls in the same bag, Coop. You have to be a team player, like a sports team. Keep your eye on the ball and the other eye on the prize. Help the team cross the finish line and score a touchdown. You could pass or you could go for that three-pointer, but that wouldn't make you a team player. And if you don't pass, you fail. Not to put you down, but are you picking up what I'm putting down? I'm really not great with the uh, sports examples. It's a simile, Coop, like a metaphor with more likes. I want you to like your life. I want you to like, share, and subscribe to your own future. Are we on the same page? Speaking of pages, Coop, I'm adding this recent trouble to your permanent record. Dear God, this is worse than I thought. This permanent record here? This is a loser's permanent record. Losers stay losers permanently. Only a loser would have this many strikes on his record. And losers don't get to go on the hashtag epic field trip to the local bomb shelter. Here I go, clicking my pen. The pen I'm using to mark this down on your permanent record to make you a permanent loser, permanently, with permanent ink. Please don't, it, it won't happen again. I, I'm sorry I've been acting up lately. I guess I have been feeling pretty directionless. I don't really have much of a positive role model in my life. I mean, there's Psionic Steve, but he's, uh, he's not exactly real. I really could use someone real to talk to, you know? I, I guess I... What's this? A distracting phone call? Hello? Don't you know I'm in the middle of leaving a red mark on a kid's future? Permanently? What's that? <gasps> Stacy broke her pelvis during the splits! That means there's an opening on the cheer squad! My time to shine! I'll be right there! Go Narwhals! I'll deal with your permanent record later. I have to go do something that's far more important than fixing your life. Now sit here and think of every word I've said, and don't look at, touch, or talk to a single thing. some way to alter my permanent record before Principal McNally sees it, or he'll never let me go on that field trip.
I seriously doubt anyone has read all of these books. No comic books? Lame. Old people just don't know how to have fun. They look nice and dusty. Wouldn't want to mess up the ecosystem by introducing my greasy fingers to it. This coral used to be alive, but now it's dead and just sitting on a shelf, holding up books. There's a metaphor about life in there somewhere. Hi there! It's fragile as heck! I better not! Ooh, these quartz bookends have some pretty amethyst veins running through them. I'm not gonna open up my chakra to amethyst crystals in the principal's office. I'd never deprive a fellow geology enthusiast of his rocks. He's using a cannonball for a bookend? Wonder what he's using the cannon for. Cannonball? I love that breeder's song. I can barely pick up a basketball, so there's no chance of me lifting this thing. Those are fancy bookends, so people can look at them and say, Wow, those sure are fancy bookends. What a waste of money. You know what's better than spending money on bookends? Spending money on anything else. I've got better things to do than mess up the principal's books, like messing up my own life. Looks like he won this Best in Show medal at the Mayflower Dog Show, which is weird for a human to win a dog show medal. Good for him, I guess. A dog show medal? I bet you could tell some tales. Oh, sure, I'll just jump up there and touch it. Come on, dude, get real. I want to be a good boy like you. Tell me all your secrets. This is obviously his most prized family member. There you go. Who's a good boy? Ah, the old trash bin. Whenever students get in trouble, the principal loves to threaten us by dangling our diplomas over it. We should hang out sometime. We have a lot in common. I haven't graduated yet, but I can still dream. What a majestic symbol of freedom. I pledge allegiance to, well, I haven't really decided yet. Maybe Satan. I think touching that is illegal. Same goes for wiping your nose on it. Believe me, I know. Chairs, filmed in front of a live studio audience. What's it like being a chair? Inquiring butts wanna know. No time for a sit, I have stuff to do. You know, considering I'm already in trouble, I could pee in that. You can't get sent to the principal's office if you're already at the principal's office. Double jeopardy. You belong out there in the wild, plant. I'm sorry for what my people have done to you. Feels dirty and a bit planty. It's a cabinet, but Principal McNally uses it as a sweat box to punish students sometimes. Anybody in there? Guess not, or they passed out. Nah, better to leave it shut. These need to be filed. File yourselves, you lazy bums. I'm not gonna file these unless somebody pays me. It's a big box of mail, not my mail. Just look at all you straight white males. Probably shouldn't go through that. It's a federal offense. It's white out. Just what I need to change my permanent record. Uh, not my favorite brand, though. You're a really stupid-looking ghost. You know that, right? Score! Free office supplies! University of Applebee's? Huh, I guess everybody needs a trade they can fall back on. I feel like talking to an Applebee's degree is a surefire way to end up with one later in life. I don't want
want to touch that greasy old degree. It's a certification for hanging placards. That's weird. Well, you're looking on the level. I can't touch it. I'm not certified. Principal McNally graduated from the University of Principaling? That sounds fake. One day, I hope to have a useless piece of paper like you on my wall, reminding me of my student debt. I get it. I'm short. Sometimes I wish I had a family. Sometimes. Hello, happy family that I don't have. Why would I take that? That's creepy. It's a certificate for amateur cheerleading. Impressive. Give me an N. Give me an O. What's that spell? No. If I ever want a cheerleading certificate, I'll earn it. Pom-poms and all. It reads, Dear Principal McNally, I just wanted to write to you to say I think you're the most wonderful principal in the history of Netherton High School. You inspired me every day to go out and meet the challenges of the world. I'll never forget you. Love, Mom. I wish somebody wrote me a note that was nice enough to frame. Just because it's a handwritten note doesn't mean I should put my hands all over it. No need to look through other permanent records. Mine is on the principal's desk just begging to be defiled. Wait right here, baby. I'll be back for you later. I'll look at other students' permanent records later. Right now, I gotta deal with my own. Oh, sweet. An outlet. Fuck you, four eyes. I would, but I don't have any scissors. It's an old box coated in dust that nobody wants. How's the weather up there, box? I can't reach it. Grandma says I'll hit a growth spurt if I stop doing that thing in the bathroom so much. It's an old lamp. Big fucking deal. I'm not gonna lecture a lamp. This lamp doesn't even have a plug. It's purely ornamental. Weird. Look at that. He's got these kinetic balls so inspired they've completely stopped. Just like all the students here. You can cradle my Newtons any day. No way! Once in motion, it's impossible to stop staring at them. I lost a good year of my life last time I started playing with one of these. I can't tell if these blinds are keeping the light out or the darkness in. Uh, you're good at what you do, blinds. I hear vitamin D is good for you, so I better leave these open. The principal's new comfy chair. Of course he uses school funding for his own tilt control and lumbar support. Wish the rest of us could enjoy such luxuries. So, chair, tell me the principal's darkest secrets. You know you want to. So this is what it would feel like to be the most powerful dude in the school. I think he left himself logged into his social media account. Wow, looks like he follows a lot of adult film stars. Hey computer, I'm a kid. Stop all the downloading. Probably shouldn't get my boogery fingerprints on there. They'll know it's me. It's the principal's desk, made of the finest particle board money can buy. It's simply the desk! Better than all the rest! And get my incriminating fingerprints all over it? Great idea! Talking to my permanent record will surely erase all the mistakes I've made over the years.
like a ninja. Okay, now I better go fetch the permission slip for the hashtag epic field trip to the bomb shelter from my locker. If I can get it signed, I can go on the trip, get closer to Sawyer, and finally be safe from bullies. And bombs. That's the filing cabinet for permanent records. It's where the principal keeps all the dirt on students. Shh! Don't tell the principal about what's happening here. receptionist that runs the school's front desk. She obviously got... She looks busy enough without me pestering her. Uh, no thanks. I don't... Halt! Stop right there, criminal! Well, what's a fella gotta do to wander these halls freely? That's simple enough. You just gotta grab a holly pass. But you're not gonna get one without a damn good reason, though, so don't get your hopes up. Holly Pass? Don't you mean Hall Pass? No, they changed it on account of how great I am at this job. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Nope. Yes, huh? Nuh-uh. Yes, huh? Times a million. Damn, she has more yes, huhs than me. You win this round. Ugh, Holly's been riding my ass since day one. I gotta find somebody who can help me make a fake hall pass. Then I can wander around freely without her constantly breathing down my neck. A big sale in town. How come our cafeteria doesn't serve anything this appetizing? You're cute as a cupcake, poster. Which is something no one has ever said to me. Damn, it's not a scratch and sniff poster.